Welcome to the Zama Pulse. I'm Charlie Mabe filling in for, well, <laughs> no one because we don't really have an anchor. Well, obviously we, we do because I'm here, but really we need a soldier to host. And that's because, you know, that's just the way we do things here. That's the way things work. And that's where you come in. Now, if you would be interested in hosting the Zama Pulse on a regular basis, we want to hear from you. Now, before you get all excited, there are some skills that you need to land a prestigious gig like this. So, here are a few things you need to keep in mind. First and foremost, you need to be able to read, and not just read, but to be able to read aloud somewhat naturally. You also need to be available to work with Garrison Public Affairs at least once a week, Mondays preferably, to film. And you need to have time left here at Camp Zama to be able to do this for more than just a bit. So if you feel like this describes you or someone you know, drop us a line at the number below for more information and we'll get you into a screen test and possibly on your way to stardom. Maybe. Okay. In other news, U.S. Army Aviation Battalion Japan participated in a joint exercise along with the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Tokyo Metropolitan Government, going through the motions delivering disaster supplies to Oshima Island. The birds flew roughly 120 kilometers to the island, quickly dropping off supplies and then returning home without incident. Now, Every day that goes by, the world loses more and more of its World War II veterans to time. Within most of our lifetimes, there will soon be no one left who can give us a first-hand account of what that horrible war was like. I was lucky enough to be able to meet with the remaining Japanese veterans who spent time at what is now Camp Zama during World War II. Back then, this was a training ground called Sobudai was by the Sobudai Monument that the men gathered on Camp Sama, Japan, the classmates of what was some over 18,000 men who trained on these grounds between 1937 and 1945. Now, these remaining few of that great Second World War, the scores of cadets now whittled down by time to but seven, pause to remember a time that was. We learned and sacrificed our life here at this academy. Japan's future depends on its people. This country needs to be protected. It's difficult to find the words, but it's my hope. Both Japanese and Americans can walk this path together. If you would be interested in taking an expanded look at this story, please be sure and check out the U.S. Army Garrison Facebook page. I highly encourage you to do it. History always deserves a second look. And now it's time for this week's Community Calendar. And that's the Pulse here at Camp Zama, Japan, for the week of November 28, 2016. I'm Charlie Mabe, and we'll see you next week.